When man first walked this earth, he was fascinated by the rocks and gems that surrounded him. And he collected these minerals to make his first primitive tools, weapons, and even jewelry. Today, of course, it's much easier to start a fascinating mineral collection, for Gulf Canada dealers are giving away 22 minerals of Canada free. Authentic minerals like calcopyrite, feldspar, fluorite, and garnet. They're fun to trade and collect. You can display them on a beautiful collector's plaque and learn more about them with Gulf's colorful educational booklet. Start your collection today by driving into any Gulf hurry station where you see this sign. You'll get a mineral free with gasoline purchases of $3 or more. Minerals of Canada from Gulf. A little link with the past from the people who give you hurry service today. Canada is an energy-rich country. But Canada's oil supply is burning away at the rate of two million barrels every single day. If we burn oil at this rate, without finding new sources, we'll begin to run short in 10 years' time. And inside 20, we can have a serious supply shortage on our hands. To make sure it doesn't happen, Gulf Canada spent over $57 million last year trying to find and develop new energy resources. This year, Gulf will spend in excess of $110 million in the Athabasca tar sands, in western Canada, in the Mackenzie Valley, the Arctic Islands, and off the coast of Newfoundland. Geology indicates the energy reserves are there, enough to power all our needs for generations to come. The oil Canada needs for tomorrow must be found now, before it's too late. Canada is an oil-rich country. But if we're going to stay that way, we have to find new sources of oil long before our present supplies run out. It takes time, it takes know-how, and it takes an awful lot of money. Because you don't find oil just by drilling a hole. You have to know where to look. And even then, the odds are strongly against finding a productive well. Gulf Canada plans to spend over $110 million this year trying to find and develop the new energy resources that will help keep Canada running smoothly in the years ahead. This money comes mainly from Gulf Canada revenues. And if you think this is the kind of job we should be doing with our money, you hit the nail right on the head. The money we spend today will keep the oil flowing tomorrow. to imagine that there could be a shortage in Canada. Right now, there's no shortage of fuel for our cars or for heating our homes. And there's no shortage of any of the things that oil helps provide. There's no shortage of oil to make medicine or adhesives or synthetic fibers or oil to make film or plastics. But there could be an oil shortage in 10 years if we don't find new reserves. That's why Gulf Canada reinvested almost 80% of its 1974 earnings in Canada. We've had a silver spoon in our mouths up to now here in this country, but our present oil supplies can't last forever. So Gulf is spending millions of dollars again this year looking for new oil. Gulf, working against time to find new energy. Canada is an energy-rich country that consumes over 45,000 gallons of oil every minute, over 63 million gallons every single day. And if we continue using oil at this rate without finding new sources, we'll be into a critical supply shortage in 10 to 15 years. We have to find more. This year, Gulf Canada will spend more than $110 million finding and developing new energy sources. It's an expensive proposition a proposition that no industry could afford to make unless they knew they would be free to earn a reasonable return on the investment. To do that, we need government cooperation and your understanding. Because Gulf is confident the reserves are there, enough to meet our needs for generations to come. But we can't wait until the last minute. 
we have to invest the time and money now.